Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Malaika K. Fowler of Malaika's International, seeking to make all lives actualize and inspire true kind actions. I am passionate about inspiring change through interconnectedness and taking compassionate actions towards our fellow human beings. Today, I am so pleased to be back. Uh, to continue the conversation here about um, decided to talk about assumption and why is assumption so important or is a necessity to our daily daily human life um, assumption um, is among the most among the most uh, important thing that uh, constitute with our human uh, currency Kindness is one, compassion is another one. Uh, we can certainly go down the list and talk about uh, the different kinds of human occurrences that we have. But assumption, the misguided nature of assumption is, uh, is quite as a danger of human currency if it's not utilized the correct way. Uh, it creates uh, specific kinds of inter, uh, insecurity um, due to the misrepresentations, um, which of course sometimes decreases our hopes and beliefs. Uh, when you think about it, is is a assumption coexists with fear, and is another form that comes into play because the assumption and fear coexist to a certain extent in accordance with our internal constitution. So when that assumption comes into play, sometimes it's actually fear, and that fear sometimes takes us to assume things that that are sometimes untruth, you know? So when you think about assumption, what I'd like us to do, uh, especially with a coexistent world, let's think about assumption and and then think about fear. But at the same time, when we think about assumption, what are we unaware of? Because uh, it's an understatement to speak about awareness or mindfulness because those two will always play in our world and the way we are going to conduct ourselves moving forward in, in our world. So when you think about it, it's, what is that our awareness? And in that space of your unaware, uh, preconceived notion, that's exactly when you need to go out there and seek for information. And that comes through by means of communication. So you have to reach out and ask someone. You have to reach out. Sometimes you, you're, you're not in the position of asking others. You can seek uh, um, through a data means, you can seek by looking at the situation, asking yourself critical questions. Why do I feel this way? Am I feeling this way because um, the, this assumption comes from something that I probably have had in my past? Why do I why do I think A, B, C, D? And when you start to put yourself into a phase of trying to change and question your mind by, by ways of communicating, you begin to allow yourself and your feelings, instead of your feelings reflecting an emotion that isn't, isn't uh, um, um, perhaps true, what do you do? You put yourself in a place of... Um, of critical thinking. I use critical thinking for assumption uh, because as as much as I would like to keep going on with uh, referring to assumption using mindfulness which is extremely powerful and awareness because it's an unaware um, state of being uh, um, that allows for us to go into the face of um, of uh, making those assumptions or having some fear to make those assumptions. So if you really looked at it from a place where you 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 are bringing into your space 
who, what, where, when, and why. And you know what? This can be news for just several other things and that's just not just critical thinking. I use this just to bring in questions to engage someone. Ask that person to ask yourself so that they can have clarity for their own behaviors, their own thoughts. They can look at it precisely and look at the accuracy or even the relevance of something to the point that they are seeking, that they are fearful of. The depth of it, is it significant? Would it be fair? Is this even, can it be substantiated? Am I, am I being emotionally uh, 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 disturbed by X, Y, Z and I'm forcedly feeling this way? You have to engage yourself with mentally solving that problem in your state of mind. You have to have that open mind, uh, 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 that space, that openness where you are allowing things and, and not just allowing things and being narrow or shallow about those things you're allowing. You're simply reasoning with it. And when you start to reason with things, you begin to bring things together. What is, you collaborate with your thoughts, you compromise with your thoughts, you're reflecting on your thoughts, you are basically doing a quick an analysis within yourself because that's very important. And it sounds like it's the five, ten minutes thing. Trust me, when you are in that phase of fear, sometimes it's a like a quick analysis for yourself. Why is this so important for us in an interconnected world? Because some things must be assumed, yes, or predicted in order for us to function in our daily lives. As there are many certainties in our world, except that we, um, we, we, we take some of those certainties and sometimes engage them with uncertainties. And there are lots of uncertainties in our world. So when we are not sure about a given situation, uh, um, one of the means and ways to go around that is to critically look at the situation, seek to know about the situation, try to understand the situation, try to apply the situation to yourself, and then when you apply that situation to yourself, try to use it as a way to evaluate if this situation is worth you reaching out to, to uh, XYZ or creating a, a state of being that will cause, cause harm to your fellow human beings. As we all are in an interconnected world, we are all seeking to be in this place where we can all unite our human spirit. When we do so, we, we no longer breathe any power, we no longer breathe fear, and we no longer breathe assumption because what we are going to breathe for each other is going to be loved, compassion for what? For our fellow human beings. Because we are interconnected, and with that interconnection, there comes similarities, and there's come differences on many di on so many dimensions, and those dimensions entails that we, as human beings, must be able to see our fellow human beings and give them the means and the needs to know that we care as much as as um, they care, instead of creating fear for our fellow human beings, let us not create fear. Let us engage one another with love and compassion. I do want to say thank you. This is a very short video, and I intend to do another video again. Thank you, and goodbye.